Hey, what's up everybody? Arboots Games here, and today I'm going over the latest Minecraft snapshot, which is 12W42B. There hasn't been a ton of major changes, so I thought I'd stay in the world I had last. But, they finally changed, uh... They changed some things about the anvil and the late in 12W41B, and then they kind of put them back into it. One of them is this. So I've got two cobblestones here. One of them is real cobblestone. And one of them is not real cobblestone. What do I mean by not real cobblestone? I'm... Well, for one, I'm in creative mode, so... Doesn't really matter. I should probably fix that. And actually... Go into a real difficulty. So... Some of it is real, and some of it is fake. This is the real cobblestone, and... Oh gosh. This is the fake cobblestone. And... Something seems different about silverfish. I don't know. So, what I mean, what was new, and, uh... What was... What was changed in 12W41B, that was in the... 41A version is you can now rename any item. So these are actually, obviously you could see it, these are uh, silverfish blocks. So if I tried to rename this one, it'd be 13 levels, and if I tried to rename one of these, it's 9 levels. So I think if I rename it, then that's 9 levels, and then I rename it again. So these should be 13 and 13. So these should, yeah. It's because I accidentally enchant or renamed that one twice. So I'm actually going to keep renaming these because there's something else that was added to the anvil. A minor change, but it's there. Too expensive. Oh, whoops. Six, too expensive. Five, there we go. Oh, 39 is actually the the highest level you can go because, yeah, I don't know why, but for some reason it, it has a limit. Oh, let me just keep renaming these. There you go, so you heard that, and that means it got damaged one more time. And when it breaks... Well, there you go. So, unfortunately, it is a little a little sudden when it happens, because as you can see, I spun around because I was trying to bring it into my inventory. I kind of wish that it would break, like, before the sound, or it would, the anvil would disappear after the sound is played, so you're not just, like, spazzing all over the place. But, that, that took a while, so I'm going to, got these... Uh, all these cobblestone blocks that I couldn't stack. So, they did actually change the crafting recipe. Instead of, I think it was 55 iron total that you needed, so it was 6 iron blocks and then, uh, and then 1 iron ingot. They changed it, thankfully, so now it takes 31 iron. So I've got all these damaged tools and armor in here. I've got golden chest plate. Let me just take all these. So if I want to fix this golden chest plate, you can now put uh, the material used to build it into the craft, or into the, I don't know what you would call it, into this space. So it would take four gold to fully repair the golden chest plate. So that's a lot nicer because, or that's definitely a whole lot cheaper than just uh, using eight gold to fully repair it. So that's cheaper material wise, but it also is slightly more expensive. So I think this one has actually been repaired before, which is why it starts at three levels, but normally it would just cost four levels to repair it. So I think one of these, I think my helmet hasn't been repaired yet. So 
I don't know. Maybe maybe just armor is more expensive. I don't know, but so you're only saving one, but it it's still cheaper in the long run. I guess you would definitely rather do this, but um the shovel. If you want to repair a gold, well, I don't know why you're using a golden tool in the first place, but if you want to repair a golden or some kind of shovel, it's cheaper to make a shovel and then and then like repair it that way because it still takes four of that material. I'm pretty sure that goes for anything. So you're saving a lot. You're saving your your you're saving three gold that you would normally lose, and it's also cheaper level-wise. Um, they still have... So yeah, this would take four, and once again, you'd probably rather want to make a pickaxe again to, to uh, repair it. But, I don't know... So that's 27 levels, and... 14 levels Still keeps the enchantment still fully repairs it. It's just more expensive so that's The changes with the anvil and oh, yeah special repair gold. I forgot Completely forgot that I actually renamed those you don't you don't need any special stuff for that So that's it for the anvil differences. I'm gonna switch this to peaceful and the next, there's uh, been changes with repeaters, so I've got another world set up with that. And here we are. So, the thing that's different with repeaters is uh, you can now actually lock them. And what I mean by that is, say I have, uh, if this is powered, you know, it works the same. But if it's on and then I turn this one on, it locks this repeater. So if I turn this off and actually even remove the power, this stays on forever until this one gets turned off. Then that one will turn off. So there's probably a whole lot of stuff that you could do besides what I have shown here. This is a, a T flip flop. So this might actually be a bug because if I put this at the fourth delay then actually I'll get rid of this torch so it's easier to show if you if you actually notice you might you probably noticed it maybe you didn't but this repeater actually turns on or it turns on after this redstone turns off so it might be a bug that could possibly get fixed I kind of hope not because this is a really easy way to set up a T flip-flop it requires it still requires more pistons but it's just more compact so other stuff you could use for the lockable repeaters is a lock on your door so this button opens okay the <laughs> the door is already locked so normally this button would just open the door go in here and flip the lever with some complex redstone circuitry now it's locked and actually it really is not that complex pretty basic and you can also uh, increase the time to go through the door so as you can see I had a problem with going through that door because I'm retarded but you can actually increase the time so this is the normal time a door would be open and as you can see that's the longer one it's not much longer but there is other stuff you can do so this one is like twice as long quite a bit longer and you can actually set something up like this which is actually a lot longer and here we go so what this does is it okay if I were to just have this there like uh, like how did I have that this no goes like this 
My bad. So if I were to have it like this, it would just... This repeater would lock this one as it's on, so it would just create like an infinite loop, so it would never turn off. So I have all these repeaters set up here, and I've got the T flip flop. Well, actually, that thing over there, technically, that's just a, like a rapid pulser or a pulse generator, but over there it was used as a T flip flop. So this quickly retracts and then puts the block back in place. If I if I just had this like inverted, then you would have to wait longer to push the button again because it would retract, then it would have to wait for the signal could, to get all the way through and then it would finally extend again. So these are most of the changes and I should I should have said this at the beginning of the episode, but thankfully I'm remembering it now. Uh, I'm probably going to have comments asking when the next update is is coming out. Um, actually, the, the latest update is available for download on the Mojang website, and it is the real update, so if you're like a modder or you're a server host, you could update it update to it already but the official the official update for it is coming out next week Wednesday so October 24 and hopefully hopefully uh, all the bugs will be sorted out one thing I actually forgot to mention is uh, they finally got it fixed um, Let's make a quick make a map, put it in a chest, and then relog. You finally don't crash when you hover over your map after you've relogged. Took them a while to finally fix that, but I don't know why. Every time you have it, it's, it always says unknown map. So every time you relog, I guess you have to like rediscover your map. I think you can put it, yeah, you can put it anywhere, probably anywhere in your inventory, and it'll fix it. So, I hope you like this video. Um, if you haven't subscribed already, please do, and I will be going over these pretty much every week. I kind of try to do it every week, but sometimes I just feel like there isn't enough updates to go over. I will see you later. Bye.